Hey guys, today we'll be learning on how to recover a .bak database file and connect it using Visual Studios. As we developed as software engineers, one of the techniques or skill that we should have is creating a web app using a large database. Fortunately for us, Microsoft gives us two large sample databases that we can work on. For more information on the two databases and the items inside it, I attach a link in the description to the page. One of the databases that Microsoft provides us with is the AdventureWorks database. All the zip files and the .bak files are located in a GitHub page, which I will also link in the description below. So let's get started. In this tutorial, we'll be using SQL Server Management Studio and Visual Studio. Both download links, which I will add in the description below. So let's get started. Let's go to the GitHub page for AdventureWorks. And as you can see here, there are a lot of files, but you can download any file which has a .bak. And first things first, let's open up Visual Studio, hit View, SQL Server Object Explorer. As you can see here, you hit SQL Server, and you have two databases, or in my case, I have two. In your case, it might be different. You can connect to either one. So let's copy the name of the database and open up SQL Server Management Studio. And the first window that'll pop up would ask you which server you want to connect to. So in this case, it'll be blank. And you just paste the database name that you copied from Visual Studios and hit connect. And boom, there you have it. Now in order to recover the .bak file, right click database, restore database, click device, and browse through all your files and find the .bak file. In my case, I download it to the desktop, so let's get there. And okay. Okay. And okay. And there you have it. All you do is hit this and you'll see AdventureWorks 2016. And there may, might be times where Visual Studio isn't showing the database, in my case, which that is. So all you have to do is close Visual Studio and start it back up again, and it should be totally fine. And you can create your web app using that database. Thank you for watching, guys, and comment, like the video, subscribe, and any comments, just leave it down below. Thank you.